Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this uh, video, we will be discussing one SQL interview question that was asked in the Uber, Uber interview. So let's get started. Let's try to understand the problem first. This is a very simple problem statement where you have to get the third transaction made by every user. Let's have a look at the format of the table we have, which is at the center that you can see here. We have three column. One is uh, user ID, then we have spends, then we have the transaction date. Okay, and the final output that we want to get is this, which is the third. Uh, so if you, if I just have to explain to you with the, respect to this example input, so this user ID one one one, this one is his first transaction, the second, then the third. So our output has the his uh, third transaction. So now I'll I would like you to pause the video and try to think of an approach. I uh, meanwhile I'll just uh, go ahead and explain. Uh, that what the approach will be so whenever you come across problems where uh, they have asked you to calculate the third transaction the last transaction the first transaction the average of the last three transactions so wherever you get uh, this sort of a problem statement you need to think in terms of window functions and that too spe specifically of uh, creating a rank a rank column which will be the first uh, a step uh, of this problem so this is a two the solution of this problem is in two uh, steps the first one is to create a shop rank or order rank column using window functions and then the second step of the problem is just to filter for the shop rank equal to three so as you can see here that i have create for for an illustration i have uh, created this uh, ranking of the shop column and this rank shop rank needs to be partitioned by user id because every for every user id the rank column should reset and as you can see here this is my first shop of 111 this is my second shop of the user id 111 and this is the third shop of the user id 111 and this is what the output looks like now let's have a look at uh, look at the code implementation of this uh, solution approach so this is how the code of the uh, problem will look like. I'll explain it to you one by one. Initially, I just want you to think of the first step, which is this part uh, where we only create uh, one column, which is one new column, which is called the order rank column. So I have done this uh, using the uh, uh, rank column, uh, using the rank window function, as you can see here, rank over partition by user ID and I need it ordered by transaction date. That's how I'll get the first shop, shop uh, second shop and third shop. So using this uh, query that is at the uh, that is at the center, I have calculated the order rank, which is the first step of the problem. The second step is basically to get the uh, those transactions where the order rank is three. So this is how I have done that by using sim by simply using a where statement where uh, my order rank equal to three. And the implementation, I've mentioned it in two steps. You can either use CTE to uh, like get the solution or you can also use a subquery to get the solution. The bottom one is a subquery uh, variation of the solution where the it's the same approach that uh, first create the order rank column, then select uh, your spend user ID and transaction date where order rank equal to three. So this is how we will be solving this problem. Thank you for watching.